Joseph Parker no threat to Anthony Joshua, claims World Boxing Press. Joseph Parker no threat to Anthony Joshua, claims World Boxing Press trainer Kevin Barry backs the performance of his fighter Joseph Parker after he cooled land a knockout punch on Huey Fury. Kiwi champion Joseph Parker does not pose a serious threat to world heavyweight champion Anthony Joshua, leading boxing websites claim. Parker's majority points decision win over Huey Fury in Manchester on Sunday, NZ time, was described as underwhelming by the boxing press. Although Parker improved to 24-0, with 18 knockouts, he did nothing to suggest that he poses a serious threat to the top dog in the division, Anthony Joshua, a report on The Sweet Science. Joseph Parker looked lackluster against Huey Fury, according to some boxing writers. It described the bout as a fight without an indelible moment, no surprise there. The referee issues a warning to Joseph Parker during the Huey Fury fight. Com website was also unimpressed, saying Parker looked looked lackluster for most of the 12 rounds, while Fury was on his bike throughout. As a result, the fight failed to deliver and the Manchester crowd had little reason to get excited. The win was good news for Parker, Ring TV. Com claimed, but the warning signs are out once again. Huey Fury and Joseph Parker embrace after their world title fight. It's said the 25-year-old had plenty of physical tools but he switches off in fights, citing Parker's unconvincing titled defense against Trezvan Pujanyu, a late replacement for an injured Fury, in Auckland last May. Unification showdowns with Anthony Joshua or Deontay Wilder, should they win their upcoming fights, could be lucrative options going forward. Parker, however, must refine his game if he is to be given a serious chance of defeating either man. Anthony Joshua is under no threat from Joseph Parker, according to a World Boxing website. The Daily Mail's Riaf al Rai said Parker was far from impressive in Manchester. Quite simply, Fury did not do enough. He worked off his back foot and tried to jab his way sporadically to a title, but even in his home city it was ambitious to expect to favorable scoring. That is not to say Parker was especially impressive. He barreled in and won this fight by virtue of his aggression rather than any discernible accuracy. Indeed, the only meaningful punch of the fight was landed by Parker in the 12th. Kevin Mitchell, a seasoned boxing author, wrote in The Guardian that Parker's victory owed more to persistence than the dominance reflected in two of the scores. Two judges scored the fight 118-110 in Parker's favor with a third plumping for a 114-114 tie which, Mitchell wrote, was closer to reality. Mitchell had Parker winning the first round and the last six with one shared. The New Zealanders' fully dominant round came in the ninth when the champion swarmed all over, Fury, with heavy shots. He said Fury, boxing as well as he has ever done in his short career, had laid trap after trap for his slower foe, but had failed to break out of his backpedaling and lacked the huge finish required.